I'm Victoria Ricano. We are on the runway at New York's Fashion Week. My fashion interview with Celine Dion in Jamaica. The trend takes you on the white carpet at the Elton John Oscar party. At the Rebecca Taylor showroom in the Fashion District, stars flock to Sundance for the films, but the real show happens when they step off the red carpet. What are your favorite trends that you're seeing this season? Hi. You're setting the trend. I'm setting the trend. All the hot trends so you too can look like a star. Honey, if you're watching. The celebrity apprentice's Debbie Gibson shares her Valentine's Day dream gifts. The trend starts right now. It's the trend. It's the trend. It's the trend. It's the trend. Yo, it's the trend and you know it. I spotted fashion icons Beyonce and Kim Kardashian stepping out of Vera Wang into hordes of paparazzi. How would you define your style? Um, gosh, I'm doing a lot of fringe this summer. Yeah, I love French. I think it's really um, just fun and hippie. The short gold dress was about the main. Is that short enough? <laughs> Celine Dion and the trend. Our fashion interview with the superstar that made headlines around the world. Celine talks about her unexpected exposure with the trend, a fashion series. Sir Elton John's debut on the trend. How long does it take the legend to suit up for his biggest night? Um, not really long. I don't take very long to get ready. Not as he. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. <laughs> Our Oscar fashion special starts right now. How are you? Hello. Steven Tyler and The Trend. The Trend caught Katy Perry rushing in, wearing a shimmering silver and black sequin blue marine dress. Miley Cyrus was right behind Katy and also chose silver. Silver gowns, a hot new Hollywood trend. From snowy Sundance to the shores of Jamaica, The Trend travels the world for fashion exclusives. I started wearing them the first day of Sundance, so... Let's keep it real, people. I, I, I wore it first. Laura Prepon stole the show in Sundance wearing a wild and warm spirit hood, warm winter cat hat. Can I still rock it tomorrow if other people are going to start wearing them? Totally. Are you kidding me? Really? You're setting the trends. You've got an amazing style right now, and it's like totally coming back, kind of like punk. It's amazing. I've, I'm Ozzy Osbourne's daughter. I'm the girliest tomboy you'll ever meet. One day uh, I'll be covered in studs, and the next day I'll be wearing like a really dressed. What's the one summer um, must-have that you think that uh, you d have to have as a part of your wardrobe? My shoes. Okay, whose are these by? These are the new McQueens and I'm so obsessed with them. So you're, you're a big fan of D-squared? Yes. Why? We love, because they make hot stuff, you know what I'm saying? You gotta have, I need hot clothing. What is at the top of your wish list this season? I I need a I want a good Burberry coat because I'm in Chicago so much. Now I need a good coat that'll keep me warm. And Burberry, I think, just makes the best ones. Here with Emma Roberts at the opening of Rebecca Taylor in Los Angeles. So what do you love most about Rebecca? I love that she has so much stuff you can wear on the red carpet and then stuff you can just throw on every day. What do you love the most about Rebecca? I mean, she's an angel. She's so generous. You know, and in Hollywood, you constantly, you know, you're changing your clothes, you're getting photographed, and it's great because she really, you know, supports actors. How do you define your own style? I would have to say girly with a little edge. At the Rebecca Taylor showroom in the Fashion District, I got the scoop on what's trending for fall. I'm such a fan of the stripe. To me, this is very nautical, the stripe I have on, like very Jean-Paul Gaultier, whereas this to me feels more French. You know, it's like a stripe can really evoke all different cities. And, you know, like this is a Venetian one, this is a Parisian one. Here are some of Rebecca Taylor's pieces on sale now. I just slipped into one of them. What would you say for a lady is the one wardrobe essential? Color. We came off so many beige on beige on beige collections and black and gray and black and gray and I think a way to look really modern is color. What is the one thing that you personally would like to have in your closet? Uh, more white shirts. Yeah. <laughs> really? Why, why so? You can never have too many white shirts for your guy. Devil Wears Prada star Stanley Tucci confirmed that backstage at the Nanette Lepore show. I always have to have white shirts. That's what Mark and James said. Really? So what's your prediction for the fall then? White shirts. On Valentine's Day, here with me is Debbie Gibson. Hi, that. Debbie. All right. What would you say is the gift of choice this holiday? Well, being that we are in this fabulous Vivian Westwood showroom right now, I stumbled upon this. Honey, if you're watching. America's sweetheart Debbie Gibson debuted on Celebrity Apprentice Sunday. So we made her our fashion apprentice. It's, it's the, the trend. trend. 
Love you. Mean it. It's the trend. It's the trend. It's the trend. From a snowy Sundance to the beautiful shores of Jamaica, the trend travels the world for star style. Keep watching. We'll have more Sundance fashion, much more from New York's Fashion Week, and of course, more from our Celine Dion fashion exclusive in Jamaica. Thanks for watching the trend from here in New York City on the runway. We'll see you right back here next week.